Ms. Malinowski, uh, Mr. Malinowski, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Madam Williams, I, I wanted to um, ask you about a specific project that is existentially important to my state and, frankly, the economy of the Northeast, the, the Portal North mm -hmm. Bridge uh, project. Um, for those who don't know, this is a 110-year-old railroad bridge. It's a swing bridge that, that swings open when boats pass, and when it swings back, it is so rickety that sometimes a guy needs to go out there with a sledgehammer to lock it back into place. Everybody, this is not a partisan issue in my part of the country. Everyone understands its needs to be uh, replaced. Um, we have, Congress has provided the funding to get this project, to fund the federal part of the project, and yet you have given it a medium low rating because you've decided that local funds were not committed. Uh, would you briefly define for us what you consider to be committed funding from the local partner? Absolutely, sir. Uh, committed means nothing else has to occur to have access to that funding. And so in New Jersey, I think there has been somewhat of a, a miscommunication in that uh, many people feel that we are saying they have to sell the bonds. That is not what we're asking. Uh, what we're asking is that the funds need to be committed, which means New Jersey Transit has to have access to those funds today. Today, they do not. And, and in fact, they brought this to our attention through the CIG process, that there were requirements in New Jersey state law that they needed to meet in order to have access to those funds. And they are making progress. I believe there was uh, a New York uh, DOT sign-off that they had to uh, receive by the end of June which I understand they've re re received. Um, New Jersey Transit has to have it approved by their board, and this is to be uh, funded in their state transportation plan. And so once they have that done, I believe it comes to FTA and FHWA, our federal highway. Um, and once they have those steps completed, then that way I believe they will be considered committed. And then they can resubmit an application for an additional rating, which I'm sure they will do in the fall. Okay, well, that's, that's helpful. I just want to hone in on this precisely. Um, I mean, as you know, the, the state of New Jersey has agreed to fund up to $600 million of this project through a bond issue that will be securely backed by our gas tax. There's another $200 million that has been committed. So you're not saying the bond has to actually have been issued? No, I'm not. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so this definition of having access to funds, because there are a number of other projects as I think you know, around the country that have received the medium rating where bonds have not been issued. Right. Um, the Durham Light Rail Project, the Phoenix South Central Light Rail Extension, which is supposed to be backed by a sales tax that has to be approved by the voters and the referendum hasn't been held. Why is that receiving a medium rating given how secure the, the commitment in New Jersey is? And here you have a project that that needs to be approved by the voters and has not yet been. What I can tell you is that everybody has to comply with the same requirements. So my technical team, which are career times, have looked at each team that they have to sell the bonds. So in individual cases, I'm happy to get that uh, back to you for the record. But my understanding is that they were able to meet the requirement to have access to the funding in the project. And so it must be something that's in, in inconsequential to the state income tax that hasn't been passed. Okay, that's helpful, and we would be we would appreciate following Absolutely. up with you on happy to do that, differences sir. and similarities, because we need to understand there is a common standard. Mm -hmm. um, let, let me ask you about a, a, another project, which I'm sure you have heard about, uh, and, and that is the Hudson River Tunnel. Um, uh, it, right now, the, one of the major holdups uh, there uh, is a lack of a record of decision for um, the environmental impact statement. Um, that statement was completed and submitted to you in, frankly, a record period of time, 14 months, given to the department in June of 2017, with an estimated completion of March 30th, 2018. This was what the department uh, told us. It's been more than 15 months since that original completion, predicted completion date. Um, FRA Administrator Batori testified before us last year that the EIS would be completed in the first or second quarter this year. This hasn't happened. 
Madam Williams, where is the environmental impact statement and why has it taken so long? Well, what I can tell you is the Federal Railroad Administration is the lead uh, on the EIS for the Hudson Tunnels. Uh, we are a cooperating agency and we are working diligently to complete that. I know Mr. Batori was up on the Hill just a few weeks ago um, and stated that there were still some steps that needed to be completed. It is a very complex project um, and so it is taking a bit longer to, to get finished. And so I would say to you that that's really in um, FRA's court and we're working very closely with them to get that done. Thank you very much. The time has expired. Mr. Katko.